Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I'm going to be checking out the Water H Smart Water Bottle. This is an 18 ounce water bottle that's designed to help you consume more water throughout your day. And it does that by measuring how much water is left inside of the bottle. And according to your parameters, it will give you periodic reminders of when it's time to take another sip. And it does that by illuminating an LED strip that's located near the bottom of the water bottle. So if you are interested in this water bottle, after you check out this video, I'll leave a link in the description, comes in a few different colors, the one I have here is Magnetite Blue. So in order to get this water bottle up and running, you will need to download the Water H app on your smartphone and you'll have to set up an account, answer a few simple questions about you and your body type, and then it'll be ready to pair with the water bottle and you'll be good to go. Let me show you everything that comes inside of the box. So this is what the water bottle looks like. It is a very simplistic design. It has these raised edges all the way around to give you a nice good grip. And then on the bottom of the water bottle, you'll see that there is this LED strip that goes all the way around 360 degrees. And it's going to illuminate to let you know when it's time to drink more water. And then it's also going to serve as an indicator for the charging level of this water bottle when you need to charge it. And then it'll also let you know when it's ready to pair to your phone. And then it's also going to let you know when it's low on battery. It has this little strap right here that you can hook on to something to carry and then this flip up top that you can just press down here. And you can drink water straight out of this if you want but then again you can also just unscrew the top and you can just drink it normally like this. But it gives you a couple of options for consuming your water. On the inside is this stainless steel interior. This water bottle also has two different sensors on the inside. One is going to be a water quality safety sensor and then the other one is going to be the water tracking sensor and that's going to keep track of how much water you put in here and how much water leaves as you drink it throughout the day. To keep it charged, you have this charging base here that simply works by putting the water bottle on top of it. And if it's plugged in, you'll be able to see the light illuminate at the bottom of it. And then it also comes with this USB-C to USB-A cable. So I've already got the app all set up and connected to the water bottle, but now I'm gonna clean this out, I'm gonna fill it with water, and then I'm just going to see what happens throughout the course of the day and see if I can hit my goals of water consumption. So I got the water bottle all nice and clean now, and here's a look at the Water H app. Now, as you can see, today's goal, I have consumed zero milliliters of water of 3,205 milliliters of water that I am supposed to drink. You see down here at the bottom, the TDS is labeled as excellent. Uh, there is absolutely no water inside this bottle at the moment, and the battery is at 100%. So I am going to put some water in this bottle now. So let me take this off. Just got some bottled water here. Open it up nice and fresh and pour it inside. So this is a 16.9 ounce bottle of water. So it almost fills it up, but not quite. Now I'm just gonna put the lid back on here. Now, as you can see, the app here has the volume at 91%. So like I said, it's almost full, but not quite full. And then the TDS is still labeled as excellent with 16 PPM there being recorded. Some more things that we can do inside of this app. We can look at the history. I haven't done anything yet, so everything is completely blank. Here are some achievements. Again, these will become unlocked as I consume more and do more. And then you have your profile. Inside the profile, you can change a few different things. We can do metric or we can do imperial. I'm just going to leave it at metric for now. You can turn on notifications, change your password, and then here are some of the data that you can change. There's me. My birthday wasn't accurate for some reason, so I went ahead and changed it. And it says, according to your body information change, they're going to update my daily goal to 2.8 liters. So, OK, that's cool because I am 37. Uh, had me down for 20 years old at first. <laughs> Don't I wish. All right. So let me take a drink of water and let's see how much this is going to change. Say that was a good amount of water. And then I'm just going to set it back down and it should be able to recalculate and uh, let me know how far along I've gotten. 
All right, so after a few seconds, it says here that I've consumed 112 milliliters of water of the 2,790 milliliters that it now recommends that I drink. And I'm just going to sit back, go about my normal day, and keep my eye on this bottle for when it reminds me of when it's time to take another sip. And I'm just going to let you know my experience with this bottle and how that has gone as the days go on, and I'll also show you my progress. So I'm out and about right now, and I got this water bottle here with me. I gotta tell you, it is hard to drink the amount of water that you're supposed to be drinking from day to day. But this is reminding me, I set it up to remind me about every 90 minutes or so in case I'm not drinking, uh, just so I can kind of keep up on things. And as you can see here, it fits just fine in a standard cup holder in a car. So you won't have any problems taking this with you on the go. I just put some cold water in this bottle and the temperature it's showing up as 49, 50 ish degrees. So the idea is to see how long this water is going to stay at a pretty cold temperature. All right, so it's been a couple of hours. Let's check the temperature now and see what we get. So if I get this down in the middle of the bottle, we're looking at between 55 and 57 degrees pretty much. So it's been about two weeks since I first started using this bottle. And first of all, let me just tell you that the battery life has been pretty darn good. It's still at about 70% battery and I haven't charged it at all. Now granted, I'm sure that if you drink a lot more water than I've been drinking, then you'll probably use up the battery a little bit faster. But for me and for what I've been doing, it's been holding up really, really good. So let me tell you a few things about this bottle that I've noticed some things that I liked about it and some things that I would change. So first of all, I really like this flip up spout. I think that this was done really, really good. It's nice and stiff. It's not super loose. It's not gonna be flying all over the place. I've been using this for two weeks and it still has a very good tension to it. And you can just kind of see me moving it and it is keeping its position. And I really do like that. So if it feels really secure once it's down, you know it's not gonna accidentally flip up and spill water everywhere. And I also like the fact that they have that long straw that goes into the bottle so that when you wanna drink, you don't have to turn it up like this. You can just keep it level and then get as much water as you want. And I do appreciate that as well. I really do like it. Another thing that I like that I didn't think I would pay too much attention to is this strap here. Really didn't notice until I can actually walk around with this thing is that it's so much more convenient to carry it by this strap and just kind of have it swinging along with the motion of your steps as opposed to just wrapping your hand around it and just carrying it like this. Um, I knew that this would be used for that, but I didn't notice until I started using it how much I actually like holding it by this little strap here. So if you're gonna be walking around with this bottle, uh, definitely use this, it's very convenient. And I like the fact that it can sit inside of a standard cup holder, so you don't have to rest it on the seat. Do you like that about it? Now, one thing that I would change is it's not as sure-footed as I would like for it to be. And what I mean by that is when you have it like on a table or something, and let's say that you're eating and it's not the most sturdy surface in the world, you see it just kind of rocks like this. And it rocks because on the bottom here, you kind of have like this, this rubber padding here. It doesn't sit completely flush with the table like a regular glass would or a coffee mug or something like that. So if I was sitting here, you know, just sort of eating and I'm using my fork, you see it's sort of wobbling like that. And um, it, it scared me at times. It made me think like, I hope that this doesn't just, you know, topple over and roll and hit the ground and break or something like that. It never did that, but it is something that I noticed when it is on a table so even though it hasn't fell it did give me pause so I would like for the bottom to just be flatter so that it can be uh, a lot more secure when it's on the surface of a table but the most important thing is assessing whether or not this bottle has accomplished what it's set out to do and I think it has by using both a technological approach and a psychological approach in order to get you to drink more water. So for example, in my case, I'm a technological person. So for me, when I get a notification on my phone that says, hey, it's time to drink more water, 
that kind of call to action is going to make me go, oh, okay, fine. And then I'll just take a sip. Even if it's not a lot of water, I'll still drink more water than I normally would have because of that notification egging me on and telling me to do it. And seeing that blue light just sort of light up and catching it in the corner of my eye, that also encourages me to just drink more water. And then from a psychological standpoint, when I didn't have the bottle around and I was just downstairs and I went to get something to drink, I open up the fridge and I see a nice cold bottle of water right there. I would go to grab it, but then I would stop. And I would think to myself, you know what, maybe I should run upstairs and get the water H bottle and bring it back down and then pour that water inside of this bottle instead, just so that I can see the progress done through the app. So from those two perspectives, it made me want to just drink water out of this just so that I could see the progress in the app so that I will be able to visualize and tell myself, hey, I'm actually drinking more water than I normally would have. And that is being done because I can see the visual results of what I've been doing, something that I normally wouldn't do, just drinking regular bottled water. So from that perspective, I think this bottle is successful in kind of training me to drink more water and be more interested in the progress of drinking that water. But for most people, myself included, it's going to take more effort to drink as much water as we should. But it's cool that there's something like this out for the tech folks out there to help monitor that kind of water usage and encourage us to drink more. And I think that has done a good job with that. So I think this is a good product. And I also want to give you the opportunity to get your hands on a brand new water H bottle completely for free. I'm going to be doing a giveaway myself and water H are working together on this. And I want to tell you the steps that you have to do in order to enter to win this bottle in that giveaway. So there's only three steps to this and it's all taking place on Instagram. So the first thing that you have to do is head over to Instagram, head over to my page and follow me on Instagram as well as water H on Instagram. I'm going to leave links in the description of this video to both of our Instagram pages so that you can find it more easily. Now, the second thing that you have to do is like the giveaway post on my page. Once that giveaway post is live and then once you like it, tag two of your friends in that post and that is it. It's only three steps that you have to do. And then in about two weeks time, Water H is going to choose a winner from that giveaway post and they're going to hook you up with one of these bottles completely for free. And of course, I will also announce the winner on my Instagram page as well. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm also going to make a YouTube community post about that giveaway with all the same steps. So you can easily be able to find it and enter into this giveaway whenever you like. So that is it, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to enter the contest. And if you want to see more content like this, also be sure to subscribe because I always have more coming. So until next time, take care of yourselves, drink more water, and I'll talk to you soon.